The suspect in a hit and run that killed a two year old boy is cooperating with investigators. The crash at 156th in Lapan was breaking news last night. Karen Morfitt live there for us tonight. And Karen, State Patrol now trying to figure out what, if any, charges that driver should face. Exactly, Karen, and you can see in this area, there's not a lot of traffic at this time of night. There's also not a lot of light out here, and investigators say that they're trying to determine whether or not that was a factor in this crash and whether or not it may have played a factor in the decision for that driver to leave. We are only here for a moment. Those handwritten words from the family of two-year-old Tenzin Choksin, who died tragically after being hit by a passing vehicle. The image of him laying in the street is like, it just keeps coming into my head. You know, I, just, I, I just keep seeing him laying there. Bonnie Baxter was one of the so first to call 911 after discovering her neighbor's son. A loud popping noise just before 7.30 on Monday night is what first caught her attention. It kind of scared me, so I looked you know, to the street and I watched the car drive across my driveway, you know, by the mailbox. That's when she says she saw the driver get out of the vehicle. Kind of turns their body and looks at the car, gets in the car and the car drives west on 156. Baxter would later learn that Chokesen had made his way into the street while his mother was getting a bath ready. The family believes he may have been looking for his grandmother who left moments earlier. Firefighters ambulance showed up. They took him to St. Anthony's North. They worked on him for 30 minutes or so and he didn't make it. Baxter says the area is very dark and investigators are working to determine if that may have factored into his decision to leave. Even without those answers and through their unbearable loss, the Chokesen family says they can forgive. Now, according to investigators, the driver did tell them that he stopped in this area, but that it was about 150 feet past where he believed he hit an animal. Now, he says he didn't see any damage to the vehicle and that he didn't see anything in the road, and that's why he decided to leave. It wasn't until he actually saw the news that he learned of a child being hit, and that's when he called CSP to turn himself in. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story, and any new developments, we'll be sure and update you. For now, we're live. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.